بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. Some of the things we should strive to avoid during the holy month of Ramadan, especially when we're fasting, are things like foul speech and shahada zur and qawl zuhr and this is things like lying and uh, you know cursing people and also false testimony all of these things are things we should avoid at all times and especially during fasting and anything that is evil of course staying away from shirk and things which uh, invite us or encourage us to worship or uh, to associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any and all forms. Another thing which many of us fall into that we should strive to be away from is ghiba, is backbiting and slandering others and carrying tales. This is a major sin and one of the reasons that a person will be punished in the grave and it is something uh, especially during the month of Ramadan that we should stay away from and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said من لم يدع قول الظهر والعمل به والجهل فليس لله حاجة في أن يدع تعامه وشرابه رواه بخاري and this was in the this was collected, this hadith was, was uh, collected in uh, Sahih al-Bukhari. And in this hadith narration, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever does not leave off uh, false testimony, or which also means things like, uh, you know, lying and, and tales and, and things like this, this kind of speech, and practicing these things bihi, you know by practicing lies and, and, and putting into, into practice and false false in any any kind of false testimony and falsehood and jahl and ignorance then the person who does not leave this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need of him leaving his this person leaving uh, food and drink because what is meant by fasting and restraining ourselves is not meant that we just leave drinking and eating and having sexual relations but rather also it is a time to refine and reform one's character to do as much good as possible and restrain oneself from evil and excess so even things that are normally lawful become unlawful normally eating is is permissible it's mubah it's something which is, and, and, and sometimes it's an obligation, of course, to eat and drink in order to sustain yourself and in order to do your worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But however, during Ramadan, during the days of Ramadan, it actually becomes impermissible to eat unless you're of those people who are excused from fasting. And likewise, involving ourselves in excessiveness and excessive speech foul speech, looking at prohibited things, uh, listening to music and things like this that are forbidden. This is a, a especially so during the month of Ramadan. So we should strive, ourselves, strive our utmost to avoid any and all forms of sinful speech and all of those things which displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and enjoin those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with, which are all forms of ibadah, which are legislated in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our fasting and bless us with al nafi wa ruskin tayyibah wa amalin muttaqabbilin. Wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.